Behold the IS-3, titan of steel that reshaped the course of history during the crucible of World War II. Renowned for its imposing presence and unparalleled firepower, the IS-3 struck fear into the hearts of its adversaries as it thundered across the battlefield. Today, we embark on a thrilling exploration of this iconic armored behemoth. The development of the IS-3 was no small feat, fraught with challenges and obstacles at every turn. As Soviet engineers grappled with the demands of designing a heavy tank that could match the ferocity of the battlefield, they encountered numerous setbacks and hurdles. From logistical constraints to technological limitations, the road to bringing the IS-3 to fruition was paved with adversity. However, undeterred by the challenges they faced, Soviet engineers persevered, pushing the boundaries of innovation to craft a war machine unlike any other. Central to the IS-3's formidable reputation was its revolutionary pike nose design, which offered enhanced protection against enemy fire while minimizing its silhouette on the battlefield. This innovative feature, coupled with its powerful armament and robust armor, rendered the IS-3 a force to be reckoned with, capable of striking fear into the hearts of its adversaries. The IS-3 was equipped with a formidable array of weaponry, including a 122mm D-25T main gun, capable of penetrating thick armor and dealing devastating blows to enemy targets. Its secondary armament consisted of a coaxial 7.62mm DT machine gun and a 12.7mm DCK anti-aircraft machine gun, providing additional firepower and versatility in combat scenarios. One of the IS-3's most notable features was its thick and sloped armor, providing superior protection against enemy fire. With its innovative pike nose design, the IS-3 minimized weak spots and maximized its defensive capabilities, making it a formidable opponent on the battlefield. Manning the IS-3 was a crew of four, a commander, gunner, loader, and driver. This well-trained crew worked in harmony to maximize the tank's combat effectiveness, ensuring swift target acquisition and engagement. In terms of mobility, the IS-3 boasted impressive speed and agility for a heavy tank of its size. With a top speed of around 37 km per hour, 23 miles per hour, on roads and a range of approximately 240 km, 150 miles, on a single tank of fuel, the IS-3 could swiftly maneuver across various terrains, delivering swift strikes against enemy positions. Weighing in at around 46 tons, 50.7 short tons, the IS-3's robust construction and heavy armor made it a formidable opponent on the battlefield. Its dimensions, measuring approximately 9.9 .9 meters, 32.5 feet in length, 3.1 meters, 10.2 feet in width, and 2.7 meters, 8.9 feet, in height, further contributed to its imposing presence on the front lines. Between 1945 and 1946, a total of around 2,300 IS-3 tanks were produced by the Soviet Union, although exact numbers may vary due to discrepancies in historical records. The IS-3, with its thick armor and powerful armament, proved to be a fearsome adversary in numerous battles. One notable engagement where the IS-3 showcased its combat prowess was in Hungarian Revolution Sino-Soviet Split Six-Day War Prague Spring 1991-1992 South Ossetia War. The contrary to popular belief, the IS-3 was never used in World War II, it was too late when the tank came. With their thick sloped armor deflecting enemy fire and their potent 122mm main guns demolishing fortified positions with ease. Downsides However, the IS-3 was not without its drawbacks. Despite its impressive armor protection, the tank's design also had inherent weaknesses, such as its relatively cramped interior and limited ammunition storage capacity. Additionally, the IS-3's mechanical reliability was sometimes compromised, leading to maintenance issues and breakdowns on the battlefield. Furthermore, advances in tank technology during the Cold War era quickly rendered the IS-3 obsolete in the face of newer, more advanced designs. Its relatively slow speed and lack of advanced fire control systems made it vulnerable to modern anti-tank weapons and tactics, limiting its effectiveness in contemporary conflicts. The IS-3 revolutionized tank design with its innovative pike nose armor layout, setting a new standard for protection against enemy fire. Its influence extended far beyond World War II, shaping the development of subsequent generations of Soviet and Western tanks. On the battlefield, 
the IS-3's combination of thick-sloped armor and potent firepower forced adversaries to adapt their tactics and weaponry. Its introduction spurred advancements in anti-tank weaponry and tactics, driving the evolution of armored warfare strategies for decades to come. Today, numerous surviving IS-3 tanks are preserved in museums around the world, serving as tangible reminders of their historical significance. From the Kubinka Tank Museum in Russia to the National Armor and Cavalry Museum in the United States, these relics offer visitors a glimpse into the technological prowess and battlefield prowess of the IS-3. Comment below of what thing I should talk about next and subscribe for more.